welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky Bex, whatever you guys like to call me. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some high-end makeup. I placed a little order on Phil Unique and I have five very decent sized luxury products. It's part of their pick and mix range on Phil Unique. I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of it, just very, very quickly. Basically on Feel Unique, you get to choose five luxury size, well, decent size products. You think you pay like 13 something pounds. I'll put it on the screen here. Plus you have to pay for shipping, but the shipping gets refunded back on your account, which is so amazing. They also do like a free samples as well. So you can choose five free samples and all you have to do is pay for shipping, but it does pretty much the same thing where you pay for the delivery and it goes back on your account. And the luxury sizes I have to say are a really decent size. I try and keep it very affordable on my channel. I tend to not go for very high-end products because we haven't got that kind of money to keep splurging on high end, but the fact that you can just go and feel unique and choose some decent size, luxury size products, I think is absolutely amazing. This is not sponsored by feel unique. They don't even know I'm making this video. So anyway, let's stop rabbiting on and try on some high end makeup. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you like link is in the description bar below if you guys want to know my first impression on these luxury products then just keep watching alrighty guys I've got to say can we appreciate how cute in fact let me just get one of them out of the bag can we appreciate how cute the sample sizes are they are so cute oh I've got to mention as well I did my eyebrows today using this little mini goof proof eye pencil from Benefit and this one is in the shade oh number three I bought this from like boots a long time ago they had this little set where you can get dandelion blush and dandelion twinkle in that set with the goof proof pencil so it's kind of cute I'm not gonna lie look how small it is oh. I have this little fascination when it comes to like really small products anyway I'm just gonna pop that down right there before I get carried away so let's look inside my little bag okay so the first product I'm gonna try from high end is this one right here this is an oldie but a goodie this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer and I chose the shade custard they did have two shades on their website they had custard and then they had a another one which i can't remember what it's called but that one was more like a pink undertone whereas this one oh my god the sample size is so cute anyway this one was a little bit more on the yellow side so i thought this one would be a little bit better for me so let's try this one i can't get over how cute this is okay so let's open this i hope it's not too dark for me because it looks a bit dark in the packaging so i'm hoping it's not gonna be too dark no I actually I think that's gonna be okay so right I'm gonna start applying this under my eyes oh it's a little bit dark that's fine it actually it actually matches my skin really really well um if you if you wanted to go for a non-brightening look then this would work Right, I'm going to blend this out with the sponge now. I'm just, I am going to brighten it, but I want to see how much coverage it gives me first. Okay, so it's definitely more on the medium coverage side. It definitely is more of a medium coverage. I'm going to build it up and see how it builds up. Okay, so it is slightly buildable it's a slightly buildable formula it is very dewy it's a very dewy formula hence why it's called the radiance concealer radiant sorry radiant i like it it's very natural it's not full coverage by any means but it's definitely more on the medium coverage side and i really like it if i want to go for those natural everyday kind of looks then this would be really good for that I mean, this is not it's not too dark under my eyes or anything i could get away with this on its own if i wanted to i really like it it's very radiant very brightening yeah 
I really like the way it looks. I did add a little bit of the Nip and Fab concealer, just a little bit under the eyes so we get a little bit more brightening going on. Before I set my face, I really want to try out the eyeliner, which is this one here. This one is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. And obviously it's, it's in the shade black. So I'm just gonna get that out. I was gonna set my face, but just in case I made a mistake with the eyeliner, I can then just clean it up. It's got a... It's a brush tip applicator, so it's a brush tip. Right, I'm not very good at doing this on camera, so I'm going to do the best I can. Just bringing it closer. Okay, from so far it's very easy to apply. Right, I'm gonna do my wing off camera and I'll be right back. Right, well, I've done the best I could with this wing eyeliner. And I have to say, it's it's very, very black. It was very easy to apply. I like the brush tip applicator. It's not matte by any means. It's not matte at all, but it's really, really nice. It, it didn't dry out on me or anything. So I really like that. It's very black but just not matte. So if you don't mind a bit of shiny, then you probably will like this. I'm gonna test out now a mascara. I'm gonna be trying this one on right here. This one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara, and this one is in the shade black. This has a sort of like a very, a tree. That's the best way I could describe it, like a tree brush. So it's got like big bristles at the bottom and then it goes smaller at the top. So this is more of a, it says it's more of a lengthening mascara. So let's give it a go on this eye. Okay, I'm gonna build this up with a second coat now. I've left it to dry. So I'm gonna see how this builds up. The mascara is definitely lengthening. I don't know if you guys can see. It's definitely a lengthening formula. It definitely lengthens your lashes. There's definitely no volume in it whatsoever. It is really nice. It does give a nice length to the lashes and it does give a nice curl. I do really like the brush as well. I find it does grab onto the lashes. Yeah, if you like a high-end lengthening mascara, then yeah, I think you will like this. Oh, and the formula does dry down very, very quickly as well. It's not a wet formula. Well, it is a wet formula, but it dries very, very fast. Alrighty. I'm going to do the eyeliner and mascara on this eye off camera, and I'll be right back and we can set the face in place. Okay, so that looks a little bit better now. So now I'm going to now set my face in place. I'm going to be using this cute little packaging right here. I'm going to be using this. So this one is the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder. And this is obviously a translucent powder, but look, it looks like it's in a little flower bag. It's so cute. You open it up. I've never tried anything from Beauty Bakery. I've heard their setting powder is like the best. Oh, this one's in the shade Oak. So this boy looks like here. Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. Does it have a... Oh. <laughs> sort of exploded in the lid oh it has a sort of slightly flowery kind of smell to it so that's quite cool all right anyway yeah oh, boy so let's start adding this under the eyes so i'm gonna grab this nice big fluffy brush and i'm gonna start setting my face with the powder so the only problem with loose powders is they can just get really messy. They can just go absolutely everywhere. Well, this powder feels really nice. It has set my face really quickly. It is a really, really nice setting powder. It feels really nice. It's not left any cast under my eyes or anything. Yeah, I I really like this. I know this powder was very hyped and I like it. I think it's I think it's really nice. Now, I don't have a bronzer or blusher or highlighter, but I do have 
I do have these three little ami Ooh. I do have these three little amigos right here. I've got these three here. This is the dandelion twink twinkle. This is the mini. This is the little highlighter. This is the dandelion blusher. And this is the hula, hula bronzer. So these are all three of them are from Benefit. And these are the mini versions. I already know I love these. I love them, especially the dandelion twinkle. I think this is so beautiful if you want a natural glowing highlighter so i'm just going to apply these little amigos off camera and then we will come back and uh what's left to test oh test out the lip product okay my bronzer blush highlighter is now on so let us try the liquid lipstick this is by huda beauty and this is the liquid matte liquid lipstick in the shade wifey. Now I've already applied a lip liner, very badly. <laughs> already applied a lip liner to my lips. So we are just going to apply this in the center. Oh, it smells like cakes. Hmm, has that sort of um Kiko Milano smell to it. If you know, if you if you like their products, you know what I mean by the smell. It's, it's this sort of like, ooh, sort of like a nice mauvey, kind of color brownie movie color i'm going to pop this in the center hmm. well i am digging this color this color is gorgeous it complements really nicely with this purple lip liner and i keep getting it all over my teeth so it says it's a matte formula so Oh no, it actually is drying down. I can feel it drying down. Hmm. I'm going to leave this on and I'm going to let you guys know at the end of, of how the lipstick dries down. But it's a gorgeous colour. I love the mauve. It goes really nice with this purple. Okay guys, so I'm just going to finish off my eyes and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. Hey you guys, so my final thoughts on all of the products I used. So let's start with the mascara. It's a very lengthening mascara and it is buildable, but I think it's best to apply this when your lashes are wet so you can grab a little bit more length. Because I noticed with one of my one of my other lashes, it went a bit clumpy, but every mascara seems to do that to me. One eye seems to always be better than the other. But this is a nice mascara nonetheless. The formula did dry really quickly, so it's not going to transfer or anything. So I, re I really like it. I know you can get more affordable options. I know, I know, and they can do just as pretty much as a good job as this one, but it's really nice to try some high-end products. So I really like this mascara and it does claim what it says. It is lengthening. It's not volumizing. It is definitely lengthening and it's nice and black as well. So this is a nice mascara, nice for everyday wear. The Beauty Bakery little setting powder. Oh my God, this is so cute. Really nice powder. Set the face really quickly. Didn't over exaggerate under my eyes because I know some translucent powders can make your under eyes very dark. This did not make my under eyes dark whatsoever. It did set my face really nicely, cleaned up my bronzing edges really well. Really liked this powder and it baked under my eyes really well as well. So it smoothened everything out. So I really like this powder. I do recommend it. I think it's really, really good. If you wanna splurge out on a good setting powder then that's a good one. The Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Now the update on that, it has definitely dried down. It's dried down completely. I thought at first it was falling into my smile line, my, not smile lines, <laughs> my lip lines. I thought it was falling into those, but as you guys can see, it's not really doing that. It's not really falling into my lines and it's, it's dried down to a very comfortable formula. So it's not like completely matte where it's going to dry your lips out completely. It is, it's a very comfortable matte formula. And it feels very, very nice as well. So I really like this. And I love the colour as well. I thought this was going to be really, really nude when I when I first saw it. I was like, oh. But it's actually more on the um, taupe side, which is really, really cool. So I really like this colour. I think, not taupe, what am I saying? Mauve, <laughs> mauve. This is more of a mauve colour, but this is really, really pretty. If you want an alternative, I would recommend the MUA liquid lipsticks. I'll put an image of it on the screen here. 
because I do have them, but they're in the old packaging. So those are what I recommend if you want a cheaper alternative, because I know they're like three pounds. But if you've got the money to splurge, I think this is a great liquid lipstick. The formula's great. It's very comfortable. Really, really like this. The concealer. The concealer is not full coverage. Um, I thought it was going to be more full coverage. I honestly thought it was. But it's a lovely concealer. It gave a beautiful radiance under the eyes. I just wish the shade was a little bit lighter. But I can get away with this with lightning drops or not. I could wear this on its own if I don't fancy a brightening under eye. I could definitely, for my sort of skin tone, I could definitely get away with this for sure. Or just for like natural everyday under eyes if I don't want anything brightening under there. I could definitely get away with it with this shade. But it's a really nice concealer. It's very lightweight. It didn't crease under my eyes. So I really like this. So it's really nice to try it. After all these years, it's been so hyped. It's so nice to finally try it. Really, really lovely. And last but not least, we have the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. This was quite a nice pen, actually. I like the, the pen applicator. It's got like little brushes in it. So it's not the foam felt tip it's like the one with the little brushes i think it's really nice it is pure black it's not matte it's not matte though but however it is pure black and it did perform very well and it certainly hasn't it hasn't bled i think no hasn't bled hasn't bled whatsoever hasn't bled under my eyes i've even applied a little bit in the waterline as well which i know I know you're not really supposed to do that with liquid eyeliners because that can really irritate your eyes. But do you know what? It hasn't even irritated my eyes at all. And it's created these lines under my eyes as well really nicely. I know they could have been a bit more sharper with concealer, but it doesn't matter. But I really like this liquid eyeliner. I think it performed really well and the size for it is very, very generous. I really, really like this. So yeah, I like this pen. I really like it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.